Hi folks, how's it going? Well, I haven't really felt like saying much of anything lately. Um, you know, people have been around a lot. I haven't really got the opportunity to talk to you. Um, nor really had much of a desire. I don't know, I just haven't felt like it. Yeah, so last weekend was uh, Easter. And uh, the nephew, who's usually around with his girlfriend, uh, is off in uh, the interesting parts of the world, like Laos and China and Thailand and, oh, it's just Vietnam. It's great. Uh, the two of them are traveling for a year. They quit their jobs and they're just seeing the world. I think it's great. It's wonderful. We, uh, we follow them on their, uh, their website. They post pictures, you know, every now and then and let us know what's going. And I uh, grab all the pictures and take the text and print things off for, uh, for his grandmother, who's here, and uh, drop them off at her place every week or every other week, just to let her know where, he's, where he is uh, traveling and what he's doing with his life. And he's having a great life. Um, he's uh, from Holland. And he started off um, through school, I think, uh, taking uh, jobs in Australia and spent a couple of years there, I believe. And um, then when he finally you know, got his job, had a good job, worked for a while, uh, then he uh, moved back here to Canada, where he lived for a little while. And, uh, now he's been living in Montreal and uh, got a girlfriend and decided uh, it was time to take that trip of a lifetime. I envy him. I wish I'd been able to do that or that I'd chosen to do that at some point. It's great. Um, okay, what else is there? Yeah, so he wasn't here at Easter. Uh, he and his girlfriend uh, have been here for a number of Easter's. so. We missed him. There was no uh, hilarious egg painting, egg rolling, egg throwing competition. That was kind of fun. We took a picture of the uh, eggs when painted and uh, emailed them to him. Um, other than that, yeah, my daughter came home for the weekend and she helped her grandmother with the Easter uh, luncheon. Had my parents over. It was a smaller family gathering, but it was nice. And this week, um, I sort of, well, I had a good uh, job interview last week. It was the second interview with a company. And I thought for sure that they were going to uh, give me a call this week. Also last week, I, uh, had an interview with a college and uh, it looked pretty good that I would um, get into uh, a course they have for the fall 2007. And so, you know, two exciting prospects. And I was thinking, which one should I do? Which one should I take? Should I take the job or should I go back to school? And um, then I got, I definitely got offered uh, the school, the um, I, I made it into the course, but this week nobody's called me from the job, so obviously, well, it seems like I didn't make it there. So I'm really looking forward to going back to school. Uh, actually, it's gonna be nice because uh, I'm gonna have the whole summer off this whole summer and then starts in September and then it goes for two years so I think it'll be uh, exciting change in my life will be good good for me and hopefully work after that so I'm going to take advantage and enjoy the summer a little bit of freelance work here and there but uh, sunshine sunshine 
so that's nice. So, you know, things have been going on. Um, meeting with a career counselor today. Um, she gave me some good news on uh, how I'm going to be paying for all this. And um, then there was a little bit of freelance work last week and this week. And I got paid for it, so that's nice. Um, yeah. So there hasn't been much desire for me to talk to you, but now I have a lot of things to tell you, so that's cool. So my daughter's back at school. And uh, things are quiet here again. Oh, and that's about it. Um, looks like it's going to be getting warmer. Not that it's been really cold, but you know, we just haven't had that great spring weather and I haven't been able to get outside and try and get some exercise. Hopefully I'll get some new shoes next week so that I can start walking again. And I haven't done any exercising since I lost my job. So I got spent the whole winter doing nothing. And last fall doing nothing. And I'm tired of it. And I was really, you know, I should have been walking and doing all sorts of stuff. And I've gained weight and I hate that. So Cross your fingers, I'm gonna get back into it next week or as soon as the weather really turns nice. That would be cool. Yeah, um, Stanley, Club, Stanley Cup playoffs are on and the Leafs are not in it. But, you know, just pick another team and follow them. My son, strangely enough, follows Detroit. I don't know what's wrong with him. Somehow he got into Detroit. No one else in the family likes Detroit. Why should they? Why should we? Anyway, um, so we're either rooting for Calgary, Vancouver, or Ottawa. <laughs> for some reason, I am not uh, a Calgary person. Um, so if I have the choice, I root for Ottawa or Vancouver. I like Wongo. There's no one on Ottawa that I particularly like. Um, and if they're playing against um, Pittsburgh Penguins, I root for Sidney Crosby or the Canadian team, depending on which one it is. Yeah. If Sydney scores, it's cool. But if Ottawa scores, it's cool, you know. So basically, I'm voting for the Canadians and Sydney Crosby. Um, so that's my excitement. Let's see, what else is there? Sports, yeah, the women, the uh, Canadian women won gold. That was cool. And uh, was there anything else? Curling, yep, yeah, we... We won in that too, Glenn Howard. Um, so, yeah, just be a coach potato, do nothing. Maybe I'll pick up a book instead. How's the lighting? Can I watch TV and read a book at the same time? Sure. I've done all my YouTubing. For the day. I have like 21 subscriptions. Not a lot. Doesn't uh, occupy, occupy all my time like some people. Because they don't, you know, have new stuff every day. So it's okay. And that's about it. So I'm going to go do the dishes, turn the TV on again, and uh, See what's on the tube. That's it for today, folks, and I'll catch you again uh, maybe in a week. See you later. Bye bye.